today's video is going to be our new minimal homeschool setup. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany. I am a mom to three girls, Layla, who is eight, Aurora is four, and Jade is one. So if you've been keeping up with my channel, I've been homeschooling for the past three years now. Aurora isn't officially, well now she is officially enrolled in school, but she will start this fall. So I've been homeschooling Layla. She is now going into third grade. So I've been homeschooling here for a while. We previously had a huge full out homeschool room and it was great. It worked for us for about a year. So it was very loved and used. But as the kids are getting older, they're more active, especially my youngest daughter, Jade, who's one. It's just a lot easier for me to homeschool throughout our house rather than a designated room. Specifically, the playroom is mainly where we do homeschool lately or my dining table. So I decided to get rid of the homeschool room. So I took that all down and I'm keeping like all of our storage things that we don't use every day like extra um, pencils extra books um, extra paper all of like the extra things that we aren't grabbing daily i am going to store them in my garage i'll take you guys through that show you a little bit because i kind of already put up one shelf i need to order a couple more shelves and bins because we haven't gotten aurora's curriculum box in yet for this coming school year so i don't have everything that i need to homeschool this coming year but i need to definitely order some more shelving and bins for the garage so this is our homeschool setup in the garage right now so there's some bins on the floor still and like i said i haven't gotten aurora's curriculum in so i'm definitely going to need like two one more shelf maybe and then some bins but yeah this is all of the stuff that we don't gravitate towards daily so i figured it would just be a lot better if i stored it in the garage versus having a whole room and it taking up space inside the house so this is just folders up here um we have a puzzle organizer some extra markers some sensory play things right here um some extra like pens color wonders pencils um this is like math another thing i do need to get to is a label maker i actually have that coming in the mail sometime this coming week so i'm gonna label this stuff that way it's a lot easier for me when i come in here because i can just easily pull bins so this is just like a little um math thing there's some math stuff in here i'm not even sure what's in this one so i definitely need to label these bins this is some math counters um this is a kiwico box kit i believe this is science this one is also science so there's some paint some sensory play things, some beads, and then there's just like some puzzles, some more beads. This whole bin is full of puzzles. There's some Play-Doh, um, like slime, just like a bunch of extra homeschool stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what our little homeschool storage setup is looking like right now. So this is our homeschool cabinet that my husband just built the other day. So this cabinet is going to be our new homeschool setup. So this is in the playroom. So as you can see, there's like toys. And I just have like all of these storage bins. So I got these storage bins from Walmart. Um, I have like a prize box here. So I just kind of have everything laid out. This is our like daily use stuff. So that is Layla's curriculum books that she's going to be using. We have this paint caddy. Um, our little like love every calendar. You like choose if you're staying home, vacation, the weather, the season, the day, and then like the temperature outside. We have some paper over there. Um, the girls' pencil boxes, crayons, color pencils, paint, glue, scissors, some more workbooks, regular books. So this is kind of all of our stuff that we use daily when we homeschool. So I'm going to try to organize it as best as I can off of this cart and see how much I can 
fit in here so we have some baby proofing on here so that way jay doesn't get in here so here's what the inside looks like this shouldn't be in there so it's a pretty decent size cabinet so i'm gonna try to organize as much as i can and see what i can fit in there So I finally finished our homeschool cabinet. I was able to make it work. The only issue that I ran into was I had to move up the shelf because the books were on the bottom and they weren't fitting. But everything fit perfect, so I'm gonna take you guys through it. So up top, we made these I Spy bottles at my mom's house. I have a tutorial up on my TikTok and Instagram reels if you guys want to check it out. They're super cute and fun. We also did um, sensory bottles with like the um, soap and beads, like sparkles. So they're really fun. There's like a million things you can do with these bottles. So check out my Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to see tutorials on that. So next is this little clear treasure box. This used to be a Target like dollar spot find, but it was years ago, but I happened to find this on Macari for super cheap, so I ended up ordering it from somebody. So if I can find something similar, I'll link it down below. But this is our prize box, like reward box, so if the girls are, you know, doing super good with their chores or they did really good for homeschool for the week, then they can come in here and grab something. These are just like little cheapy toys i usually find all of this in like the target dollar spot or you can find these like at the 99 cent store dollar tree there's just like fidgets in here 
bracelets, um, like little skateboards. Usually find this on sale too, like after holidays. Next is our love every like weather chart. So again, it has like the seasons that you can change out, the weather, um, the temperature, if you're staying home, traveling. So inside, here's how everything looks. It fits perfect. So up top, we have these acrylic caddies, which has our markers, color pencils, twistable crayons, which I definitely recommend if you have a toddler because they don't break since it's plastic. So I love those for like Aurora or Jade. And then the regular crayons. This set of mini markers came in a little um, like organizer already, but it wasn't fitting in here. So I took out all of the markers and just put them in this acrylic bin. We have little mini clothespins because I think I'm going to hang a little like line up here above this cabinet so I can hang up some of the girls' artwork. And then we have the dry erase. Um, eraser and then the dry erase markers So that's what's in that caddy. We have the girls pencil boxes. This purple one is Layla's And then this blue one is Aurora's then we have this little caddy, which is our paint caddy So we have a bunch of acrylic paints um, Let me see if I can show you guys we have these like flower trays and then in the inside in the middle we have like water paint and then we have all of our paint brushes in this mason jar and then the last things up top is a hole puncher and then some rulers and then this acrylic bin i originally wanted this for Aurora because I wanted to do like two for Layla, two for Aurora, but I wasn't able to fit four down here. So this one I had to use for other things because books won't fit on this top shelf since it's so narrow since I had to move this up in order to fit all of this stuff down here. So this one I just used for our dot paint markers, which I also recommend if you have toddlers. Love those. We have some scissors, stapler, this love every measuring tape, which the girls love, and it comes in handy too for like math. Um, an extra sharpener, and then we have some glue bottles, glue sticks, so that's everything in this one. So that's everything up top. And then our bottom shelf, this thing ended up fitting perfectly since I moved up the shelf, so I added our printing paper up here because I had this whole layer because this thing comes apart each layer does so i had this whole layer off since it wasn't fitting but since i moved this up if it's perfect so we have printing paper and then all of our construction paper rainbow and then we have a binder right here that has some extra papers and then it has a number grid in front this bin is layla's so this is all of her curriculum books. She used the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum, by the way, and then I think I'm going to be using Timber Doodle for Aurora, if you're wondering. I do have some curriculum unboxings on my channel. If you guys want to check that out, I'll try to link it down below in the description. And then this bin has like all of our books that go along with our curriculum, so that's just books. And then this one is going to be for Aurora stuff once it comes in. So for now, I have her book. It has some worksheets because I always like to print out worksheets to go along with our curriculum. So Aurora has some stuff in here. I have these clear um, pocket sleeves. You can use the dry erase markers on here. So it's really good if you're teaching your child something like the alphabet. That way you don't have to go through tons of different worksheets. They can use the dry erase markers and then erase it, start all over the next day. So those come in handy too. And then we have some whiteboards. But that is our new minimal homeschool setup. It fits perfect in there. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think it's gonna be really like functional now. But yeah, you guys, that is it. Let me know what you guys think about our new minimal homeschool setup. Don't forget to check out links down below in the description. I'll try to link our curriculum unboxings and any other like homeschool videos that I have here on my channel. 
Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok because I'm a lot more active over there because it's just a lot easier for me to pump out quick little minute videos with the three kiddos because I am so busy. But just in case, make sure you're following me over here too on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell so you guys always get notified and give this video a thumbs up if you guys like our new minimal homeschool setup and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye.